Hi there, everybody. It's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I have a little six by six inch canvas. I purchased some little canvases over the weekend and I'm going to try another bloom technique. And I am again going to use the two ingredient pouring medium. And I want to give another shout out to Harmony House Art. Uh, the two ingredients used for the pouring medium. I'm using the Dutch Boy uh, Acrylic Enamel, their Deep Base C. And the second ingredient is the Verathane Triple Thick Polyurethane. And you mix those two ingredients 50-50. And then you mix that 50% pouring medium to 50% of your paint. My, and you also use that for your base coat. So my base coat today is half Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and half of that pouring medium. Let's go over the balance of my paints. I'm here, I have the Arteza Iridescent Dreamy Yellow. I have Deco Art Extreme Sheen Sapphire. I have Dragonfly Glaze, and this is the one that turns red, violet, and blue. It'll give a, a nice little shine on that painting. My next color is a combination of the Liquitex uh, Professional Soft Body Muted Violet, and I did add Color Art Primary Elements Pomegranate to that, just to, just to spark it up a little bit. And let's see. Oh, my next color is a combination of Modern Masters, their metallic green apple. And then I again I added some primary element color art to that, and it is the olive vine. And let me show you that. And I can show you consistency right away. It is thick because I am doing the bloom recipe. And for my cell activator, I'm using the um, Australian Floetrol. And it is four parts Floetrol to one part of the Amsterdam Oxide Black. So you can see I put my pillow down. So let's just put my paints down. And I think I will start with this purple. Such a very pretty color. And we'll go with the sapphire. Now I will put that dragonfly glaze on. And I will top it with the yellow. And I put I will put some green around the outside. Made that green so shiny by adding that. Olive, olive vine green from Color Art, the primary element. And now I will put the cell activator on. Add a little extra in there. And now I'm going to take my leaf blower and just blow that cell activator down and out if I can.
mean, I think I will take my straw and just blow a little bit here in the center. Just blowing that cell activator around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit there a minute. That allows that cell activator to resurface again. And I will add some more of my base coat here around the edge to help that paint move. Again, my base coat was also just the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, 50% with 50% of that pouring medium. And if you do need to thin it, which I did a little bit, I added a little bit of regular Floetrol, American Floetrol to it to thin it down just a little bit. And I think I'm just going to blow it this way a little bit. Okay. And I hope I have a successful um, spin here. I've had some trouble with my paintings flying off my spinner lately. So let's give it a spin. Give it another. Okay, I'm going to take a skewer, if I can find my skewer, and I'm just going to um, add a little something here, add some petals. Do a little tipping here just to bring that in the center a little more and tip it this way and give it a little tip this way and then I'm going to bring it back to the center And let's give it another little spin. Okay, let's go in the opposite direction. And I think I'm just going to fix this center up a little bit. Give another spin here. And let's give it the spin this way.
looking better. You're almost there. And this way again. I really am liking the colors of this, this little painting. One more spin. That's looking really, really nice there. One more spin. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to try and get this in the center a little bit. Move that circle into the center a little bit. If possible. That looks good. Take my skewer and just add a few little tweaks here. Just something for the eye to look at. Okay, I'm really liking that. Just gonna pop a few of the little air bubbles here. Some of the bigger ones. And I think I'll get you down for a close up. You tell me what you think. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And I really like how this turned out. This is the upper left-hand corner. Again, this is just a little six by six inch uh, painting. We got some cells there and some lacing. That's the lower left-hand corner. And we'll go up the middle here. I do like how the center turned out. I think it's real pretty in here. The yellow at the base of that petal there is really pretty. And I do like this petal up here in the upper right corner, that green it looks so pretty. Just going down the right hand side here. So let me know what you think of this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time I do post a new video. I truly appreciate you watching. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye for now.